Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jono. Thank you so much for joining me. I just decided to plug into my uh, Orange Rockerverb uh, Mark III for the first time in a while. And yeah, it was a good idea because we got some pretty awesome tones. One of the first things that struck me with this amplifier when I picked it up was the amount of features it has on it and you know, its versatility. Yeah, we got effects loop, we got foot switch options, we got two channels with uh, separate EQs, which is an interesting thing. Uh, you got half power, full power, you got a pseudo attenuator built in, you got reverb built in, it's feature packed, right? Um, and to be able to get unique tones um, from you know, another EL34 powered amp, um, like everything else in my catalog, uh, is, is pretty awesome. That's just an awesome clean tone. I can get a lot of different sounds out of that. Um, uh, in the effects loop, I've got my Skylar reverb and the uh, Keely Halo. So we can verb out that clean channel too. Um, and it sounds something like this. I just love that tone. I reckon it's an awesome clean tone. Um, the settings are just the, the trebles up quite a bit and the bass is at midday and the uh, volume on the clean channel is just midday as well. The track that you heard at the start of this video was from this amp, absolutely. Uh, however, it was profiled through my Kemper um, channel two, the dirty channel. Um, and uh, it's just an awesome sound. Uh, I definitely found it inspiring and um, yeah, it just kind of, cemented in me that, yeah, the Kemper really does uh, get some unique characteristics of the amp that you're profiling. Um, obviously there are some variables like the microphone you're using um, can be a variable there, but um, from playing the amp as I am now, which is just mic and cab, uh, to when I was playing it in the Kemper, it was like, oh yeah, it's the same amp. That being said, here's the dirty channel of the orange just mic'd up.
One of the things I love about this amp is the fatness that's in the mid-range. Uh, it can really fatten up a single coil guitar and yeah, it's kind of unique as well. So pair an orange amp with a Strat and you've got something pretty unique. Let's chuck the Muse driver in front of that dirty channel now. Shelving off a little bit of that low end, but still keeping that fat mid thing that's going on intact. Awesome. I was surfing YouTube last night and looking for notable players of Orange Amps and Stratocasters, and not necessarily notable even, just people that play Orange Amps and Strats. Um, and because I, I honestly think it's a really unique sound. And you know, Marcus King um, came up and you know he's he plays a lot of different guitars though, but geez, what a player. Um, yeah, he's a very, very good player. But of course, Nick Johnston, uh, super strat player, Schechter signature guitar, which is you know super affordable, but really well appointed as well. Orange Amps, and man, he's, he is a player as well. Are you a lover of Orange Amps? Do you play an Orange Amp and a Strat? Or do you play an Orange and a Tele maybe? I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Let's have a chat about it because this is a very unique sound which I'm really digging. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. Please hit like and subscribe if you feel inclined. Check out my website johnoeastguitar.com.au for some Kemp profiles and performances, i.e. this Orange. And I'll see you on the next video.